We're still 5, 10 degrees above average, but read that colder air. We'll waste no time arriving, so get outside, take advantage. I'm going to keep saying that before this big pattern change. By 4 o'clock, 70 degrees. 62 is our average for this time of the year. Now, in turn, bluebird skies for the day part today. As we get overnight tonight, we start to cool off, so we do actually see temperatures drop back below average overnight, but enjoy what we have today. 70, the official high in the spring. So roughly region-wide, you can get away saying 5, 10 degrees above average. 73 in Pueblo as well as Canyon City. Even the Arkansas River Valley does very well. Fog's already dissipated low to mid 70s as you head across the plains. Very comfortable conditions, very tolerable heat. Today we're 5, 10 degrees above average, just not experiencing the cold air just yet. Let's break down exactly what's headed our way. Two cold fronts move through. The first arrives Friday night, and as it arrives, it brings cooler conditions. The second one arrives Saturday night. As it arrives, it brings our Arctic blast, coldest weather really of the year season so far that we will experience. So it does take its time to arrive. By Friday, front number one moves through, and then by Sunday, the Arctic blast. Look at this, a direct feed from Canada pushing towards the spring, so it gets downright cold as we end the weekend and begin the work week. So tomorrow is another day to get outside and take advantage. 72 in the spring, 78 in Pueblo. 80s as you head across the Arkansas River Valley because by Friday, as I said, our front moves through and we see our big cool down. So cooler air with the first step and then the Arctic blast brings just downright frigid conditions. Slight warming by Halloween, but it still does look cold. Your weekend forecast, I apologize about the last hit. We've updated this, unfortunately. It won't be 60s and 70s as that was showing. We're in the 50s for Southern Colorado, 30s as you head up north on Saturday. And then Saturday night, I do have a rain snow mix in the Springs Pueblo. I think you dodge a lot of the snow. By Sunday, Arctic blast moves through. We're near the freezing mark and I think likely accumulating snow for the Springs and Denver Pueblo. Again, I think you do miss out on any accumulations. Now we look ahead towards Halloween. Hopefully your costume is warm because, well, there's a high probability temperatures are well below average. In fact, they could be near the freezing mark. And then the other aspect we watch is rain snow potential that we're timing out. We stay dry for today. We stay dry through Friday and then we start to see the weather really ramp up. Take a look at our Futurecast in-house model. Saturday morning, we do see snow in Denver as well as the high country. Even if we do have the radar fill in over the Springs, Pueblo, Teller County, it will still be too mild, but as, as the rain and snow continues to fall, we cool the profile of the atmosphere by Saturday.